Imagine you had just bought a video game that had not been test played before it was released. When you played the game, there were so many glitches, and overall, the game was just frustrating. Good thing this does not happen often, because video games are test played by actual people. When video games are tested, two things are considered. Evaluation of the game's performance, and considering how people fit into the whole picture. Now, shouldn't we do testing like this for other things, like regulations and natural resource systems, such as fisheries? But in many fisheries, regulations are not tested before they are implemented, and people aren't even considered in the system. My research aims to develop a tool to test regulations in the American lobster fishery before they are implemented. But to test regulations, we need some sort of simulator, as we cannot recreate the fishery in a controlled environment. I have modified a computer simulator that replicates a realistic lobster fishery, where each lobster has probabilities of going through processes like growth, dying from natural causes, being caught in the fishery, and being protected from conservation measures. Now the simulator is ready to use and ask what if questions like what if the fishery chain, uh, is, was or is managed differently. But it was difficult for me to modify the simulator and know what regulations to test when I've never even been on a lobster boat. So I've been interviewing lobstermen to learn about what they think is changing in the fishery and what their concerns are. I have learned that the environment is of a huge concern. In fact, water temperatures in the Gulf of Maine are increasing faster than anywhere else on Earth. Many believe that high water temperatures have contributed to lobster die-offs in other areas. Fishing behavior may also be changing to be less conservative, so I've included fishing behavior and environmental effects in the simulator. All of these steps have helped me create a realistic simulator to test realistic regulations. Now, you've probably heard of the iconic Maine lobster. That's because there's so many lobsters in the Gulf of Maine, and catches have been higher than they've ever been before. We can use the simulator to see how historic regulations have contributed to the high number of lobsters and catches that we see today. So far, we found that the conservation measures used in the fishery, which the fishery is famous for, have greatly contributed to the high number of lobsters and catches that we see today. So testing regulations can help us understand and improve management in fisheries and can provide the fishery with the tools to get through during hard times, just like testing a video game makes sure that the gamers can get through the game at hard times. <laughs>